Hi and welcome to Standard 12. Standard 12 is about using interior and exterior angles to solve and classify side lengths and polygons. Let's read it. Standard 12. Students find and use measures of sides and of interior and exterior angles of triangles and polygons to classify figures and solve problems. So, Standard 12 will be problems 50 through 56. So let's look at problem 50. Two angles of a triangle have measures of 55 and 65. Which of the following could not be a measure of an exterior angle of the triangle? So let's kind of draw a triangle. It says one will be 55, one will be 65. We can do the triangle sum theorem to find the third one. So if I add these two together, I get 120, which leaves 60. So the question is kind of tricky. It says which could not be a measure of an exterior angle? Well, the exterior angle to the 55 would be 125. The exterior to the 65 would be 115, and the exterior to the 60 would be 120. These are all linear pairs, so they add up to 180. That's how I find those. Okay, so which could not be? Well, 115, we've got it right there, so that can be. 120, we've got it right there, so that can be. And 125, we've got it right here, so that can be. Therefore, 130 has to be our answer by process of elimination. Okay, um... Number 51, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is the same as the sum of the exterior angles. What type of polygon is it? Okay, so um, good way to think of this. Well, we know that triangles are 180 interior. And we also know that always, exteriors are always 360. Uh, we know that quadrilaterals are 360. And like we said, exteriors are always 360. So it looks like quadrilateral is going to be our answer. Just check a pentagon. A pentagon, five-sided figure, it's going to be 540 for the interiors and 360. So the question is, if the sum of the interiors is the same as the sum of the exteriors, what kind of polygon is it? The only place where that's true is in a four-sided figure or a quadrilateral. So our answer is A. Okay, so that was 51. On to 52. 52, here it is. Okay, 52 says, find the measure of angle X. So um, what we have here is a triangle and then an exterior angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this angle and then use linear pairs to find this angle. So 25 plus 60 is 85. So we've got 180 minus 85 equals 95. But that's not the answer. That's the measure of this angle. Now if we look at x is a linear pair to this one, so it's got to be 180 minus 95 or 85. Uh, there is a theorem that says that when you want to find the uh, exterior angle of the unknown angle in a triangle, you just take the sum of the other two angles. In other words, 60 plus 25 will always get you this angle, or 85. So here you go. C is your answer. Okay, on to 53. If the measure of an exterior angle of a regular polygon is 120, how many sides does the polygon have? Okay, so exterior and regular are key words here. Exterior tells us it's going to add up to 360. And it says regular, so they're all going to be equal. And if it adds up to 120, then what we're really doing here is dividing. If the exterior uh, is 120, and we know it adds up to 360, then how many times, how many angles does it have? It has three angles. Therefore, how many sides does it have? It has three sides. It's a triangle. Equilateral triangle, actually. Okay, 54. In the figure below... AB is parallel to CD. What is the value of X? Okay, so saying that AB is parallel to CD. If these are parallel, then these are same side interior angles. Same side interior angles are supplementary. For that reason, these two angles have to add up to 180. So we can write this. X plus 40 plus uh, X minus 40 equals 180. So we combine like terms, we get 2x, the 40s cancel out, we get 2x equals 180, therefore x equals 90. Um, so we're trying to find the value of x, well, we did it, it's 90. Um, number 55, the measures of the interior angles of a pentagon are 2x, 6x, 4x minus 6, 2x minus 16, and 6x plus 2. What is the measure in degrees of the largest angle? Well, first of all, the largest angle has got to be 6x six, six plus 2. That's just the biggest uh, side that we've got. 
our angle that we've got. So um, we know that it's a pentagon, so it has five sides. And what you do is n minus 2 times 180. So 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 times 180 is 540. So we know that all of these have to add up to 540. Therefore, 2x plus 6x plus 4x minus 6 plus 2x minus 16 plus 6x plus 2 equals 540. This one's kind of a kind of a big pain. Okay, so 2x plus 6x is 8x plus 4x is 12x plus 2x is 14x plus 6x is 20x. So we have 20x and then we have negative 6 minus 16 is negative 22 plus 2 is minus 20. So there we go. 20x minus 20 equals 540. We'll add 20 to both sides. We get 20x equals 560. So then we divide by 20 and we get x equals 28. Now that's not the answer. It's not asking us to find x. It's asking us to find the measure of the largest angle. Well, the largest angle is equal to 6x plus 2. So what we do is 28 times 6 and then we're going to add 2. So this is 8, 48, 12, 16, 168 plus 2, 170 will be our angle measure. And our answer is C. Okay, 56, last one in this standard. A regular polygon has 12 sides. What is the measure of each exterior angle? Well, keyword here is 12 and regular. Regular means all the angles will be the same. And exterior tells us, again, that it adds up to 360. So if it has 12 sides, it has 12 angles. So 360 divided by 12 is 30. So the answer is B. Okay, that about does it for Standard 12. Thank you very much. Please tune in for Standard 13.